Hey guys, uh, it's Noah Boy. Uh, welcome to this uh, tutorial. And uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you one thing. Um, uh, we had created a mobile management system, uh, like a contact management system, sorry. So where we were adding contacts within the data, uh, we were able to delete and update information. And uh, so I want to show you how can you combine this, all these things into one module. So I want to show you something simple. Uh, this will take time. So first of all, I'll create a new package. So it's a new Java package. And uh, I will name the package uh, main uh, because this will be the main main folder maybe. And then now let us now create an empty XML file in this folder. And then I'll call it uh, just main uh, main. Then next I'll click the Java controller. So I'll select finish. Now in the main the XML file I'll now open. So in the same builder, we are always given these three things. I think this space is even enough. So what you'll just do, we'll design something simple. I'll drag and drop the VBOX into the anchor pen. Right click this VBOX, fit it to the parent, and then select. That. So we only need one VBOX, so this one, that is, we have fit it to the parent. Now, after doing that now, we also need another thing. So we'll be needing a, a text something like you show us uh, a contact book is a contact book just drag and drop the text into the vbox so after doing that change the for uh, the, the text uh, caption and uh, we'll say uh, contact book And then now change the font, increase the font size if you want. And then again, uh, you can also increase or uh, uh, change the fa family font. I would like to select something different, like push uh, script. Yeah, that's cool. And then uh, select this view box again, uh, click left, and then select top center. Uh, that's it. And then after doing that, now do we need uh, an H box, two H box uh, to be precise? Uh, two H box, drag and drop into the view box, and then you can just create a duplicate. So we will be adding buttons. So, button, I'll copy the button into the, sorry, let us copy, drag and drop the edge, uh, button into the edge box, create a duplicate, so, uh, uh, so, after doing that now, let us now, uh, you can copy these two buttons, uh, and paste it on the other edge box, So select all the four buttons because we want to design them uh, to look alike. Uh, so come to the layout. Now select the preferred width to be 300. Select the preferred height to be 100. And then, uh, sorry, the last two buttons should be inside the last H box. Yes, something like that. Now that we have something like that, select all the buttons. Give them all a margin of 5 on all sides. Uh, then, after doing that now, I will introduce you to something new. But uh, uh, now, come back uh, to the contact. Select any image in your computer. So, for me, I'll just come and select... Uh, uh, I'll just come and select an uh, image in my computer, uh, something 
grass. Something this this image. So this the image I'll be selecting. So sorry about that. So let me just copy this image. After doing that now, I'll come and place it here. So, so I didn't get that much. So I'll just copy it and paste it here. So I think I didn't get that image. So I'll just copy and paste it here. So once I've done that, I, the only reason I've done that is because I want to add a CSS to this main puppet here. So that, so what I'll do, I'll come here, I'll create a new, either, then come to uh, this place, then select other here, and then there's the, uh, there's the list that will appear here. Then select the cascading style sheet. We want to add a CSS so that we can add a background. So type the name of our CSS and we'll call it style.css. Uh, so finish. So once you've done that, uh, we are going to uh, give an ID, a uh, class. So uh, we'll give this one as uh, contact body. So we can just say contact like this and then now uh, we'll type in some characteristics but most of all I want just to put the background image so fx back background image fx background image so uh, here I'll just put the URL and then I'll type in the information here. So this one should be like this. And then here I'll type in the information. Like uh, the image is at uh, contacts. This is where we want to locate contacts and uh, type in the image. So once that's done, you can come back to the scene builder and select main the uh, select the end uh, come to the properties. Uh, now we want to connect our, our style sheet, uh, our uncapping with the style sheet. But this is how you do it. It's very simple. Just come, my, my, locate where you have installed your project. So mine is at documents, then is at the folder name tutorials. And then uh, uh, a package name contacts and then come to the source and now here select the package where it is so mine is i place it at main so once you've done that now select this and in and give it a, give it a class so i'll give it class contact so that's it uh, that's okay. So, if it can't locate, you can just uh, uh, look for another image that is compatible. So, mine ain't compatible. But let us let us let us first uh, go through the first one where you are supposed to add contact. And then the second one. We are supposed to add uh, view view contacts. And then that one is supposed to delete. And then that one here I'll supposed to update. Once you've done that, come to the code here. Now select the first button here, add contact. 
come on an action here and type in add contact the view contacts button type in here view contact edit contact here an action type in edit contact and here and type in the method it so since you have done that just save your project come to the main data text here and make the control so once you've done that now we will be creating a method that will be loading our windows so I'll create a method void load window into brackets will it will be taking two parameters so first of all it will be requiring the location of the, the window and the title so once you've done that uh, now let us create this method this method is very simple first of all uh, create the parent uh, Get class. Get resource. So here we will place in the location. The location of the packet. So what I'll just do here, I'll import the parent. I also have to I'll just surround you with try catch because we, want, we don't want it to draw exceptions in every place it will be called. So once you've done that now parent root uh fxml lower get source. So we we'll need something like that. So now we are good to go. Now we'll create a new scene where we'll be placing our root which holds the fxml file so uh, this one is a new scene scene we'll be placing the root file here and then now after placing the scene uh, we can import the scene we'll have to create a stage uh, stage and then in this stage now we will create a stage i will give this stage a uh, style so stage style uh, it should be decorated and then we will import some things here we will import the stage style and we'll import the stage. so uh, after doing that so now we will place uh, now this stage we shall give it a title so stage search title the title that we had uh, put uh, as parameters so title this one this location already is here this is where I'm placing the location of the XML file this is the title of the window and then now uh, put the scene into the stage so we set the scene scene now place the scene here the scene we have created and then now you can stage show you can now stage show uh, and if we because we want this stage uh, unless someone has, hasn't closed we don't want uh, uh, someone to go back to the page unless he has closed the pop-up window so what we'll be doing will be restricting and then this is what we'll be doing. We'll initiate modality. Modality the application model. So so that unless someone has closed the window, 
uh, you cannot access the main page so first of all after doing that now i think we are good to go so what we'll be calling will just be update contact we just call the method load window inside here the first string i'll trace is the update contact because this update contact update data and then update data the importance of uh, naming the package uh, something close to what you know because when you are getting a very uh, complex uh, package uh, of a software it is always important to recall uh, and if there are so many it will be hard to recall if you name them hard terms hard terms that you cannot remember very easily so it always it's good programming uh, to uh, to name everything something that you can recall very easily so update info so that could be the title so i'll just copy this one to all of them but changing the the, the content so like this one, uh, it will be this data. So, this data, this data, then this one will be root info. And then uh, just uh, copy this again. Uh, here, uh, it's view data. View the info. And to bring that now, I'm just copy this information. And uh, what you do now, uh, come here and uh, uh, and you can remember it was in the package contacts. So you change everything here contacts. And then here we didn't change the name of the fxml file so we just type it the way it is fxml document so this one is case sensitive if you type just uh, wrong it will just uh, not add anything or the page will not open actually because it cannot be located so now that we have done this uh, uh, i think you are good to go now let us build the application and uh, even before uh, after building we will have to change the main class file now the main class should be this one but this one does not have a main class so what i'll do now take this main class uh, from any of the package just copy it come to the name here and paste it and put a refactor copy here. so here i'll just place main to java and then i'll refactor it so that's it but this one it should be taking main vector fxml so i just press some data so uh, now we are good to go build the application again and then come to the contact uh, select properties right click and select properties then come to run here and then here you want to select the main class file so it will load all main class files and i'll select the main and then okay now build the application again when you almost build you create a jr file in the next tutorial i'm going to show you how you can package a jr file into a next into a windows executable application now let us run this application so you can see uh, the the image the background image was set so uh, if you want to select any image uh, any folder you can add information you can view information you can also delete contacts and you can update contacts 
So uh, we, now we can view everything. And if you want to say this image, because earlier it, it had not loaded very quite well. So if you want to set this image to be something that can fit, just come to the CSS and say FX uh, background. image background size sorry just say hundred percent hundred percent so that's it when you build your application So here we go. Uh, now we have something. Let's see. Now our image as uh, is fit to the screen. Now we have a very beautiful contact book information where we can add contacts. Uh, you can view your contacts. And then you can also delete the contact if you need to. You can update the contact if you need to. So uh, that's how you can create a very simple book application. And you see, this is a very simple application. You can just package it into... One of the advantages of JavaFX, you can just package this very application into an Android application. So that was it about JavaFX application. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed everything. I hope you now uh, have a clear understanding of JavaFX. Uh, it was not a boy and it was a pleasure to see you through this. Uh, thank you.